What's going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I'm here to answer a common question a lot of you guys have been asking me which is what PlayStation 4 games will I be reviewing? Now before I get to that if you guys recall on Friday I did a video titled where is your PS4 James and in that video I mentioned that it's going to be arriving on Saturday. But then on Saturday, towards like later on in the afternoon, I found out it wasn't shipped because it was going to come out this week due to the fact that my PS4 was going to be engraved. And I'm not sure how many of you had noticed that I uploaded a video titled the same thing, but when you clicked on it, it said removed by the user. Well, because in the beginning of the video, I was talking about the engraving, but then I found out 15 minutes after, like literally 15 minutes after that video was uploaded, that... Um, they, were no they notified me about the engraving, uh, which is cool that they notified me about this asking. It's like, hey, listen, uh, we were going to get your PS4 engraved, but, you know, wherever it was going to be sent to you, it was going to take two weeks. So they had asked me, which is cool, which is uh, awesome, um, but they had asked me, would I like to wait two weeks for it to be engraved? or do I want it now? And since I had promised you guys content and the fact that my special splitter to bypass the HD CP, whatever the hell it's called, uh, you know, to record using my capture card is going to be arriving within this week. I told him, listen, you know, it's cool and all that you guys were gonna get the PS4 engraved, but I promised my subscribers content for the PlayStation 4 and I would like it to be sent out this week. So I'm gonna be, I already have a uh, tracking in terms of when it's going to arrive. My PlayStation 4 will be arriving tomorrow. So Tuesday, my PS4 will be here. It's going to be a home delivery, so meaning I have to wait for FedEx, which is probably not going to be until the afternoon because I'm like the last area they visit. I don't get that, though, because there's a FedEx location up the street from me. Uh, if it was sent to there, it would be there at 9 a.m. in the morning, always. It's done that three times so far. But if they do a home delivery, it's not until like 2 to 4 in the afternoon. But the FedEx location is like 5. I don't get that, but... Anyways, the point being is that my PlayStation 4 is not going to be engraved, but it will be here tomorrow. Because like I said, I can't wait two weeks for the PlayStation 4 to be engraved. As as much, what's the word I'm looking for? As cool as it sounds, I just can't wait two weeks because there's a lot of content I still need to provide. And actually one month before, I, I actually had uh, within 30 days, I uploaded a total of 227 videos within 30 days fully rendering and uploaded to YouTube. So imagine what I could do with two weeks with the PlayStation 4. Yeah, so that's a lot of content. And of course, the fact that PlayStation 4 right now videos are getting views and views are important to me because it helps me pay my bills, helps me provide food for myself, food for my reptiles, and all that fun stuff. But anyways, back to the main question is what PlayStation 4 games will I be reviewing? Well, if you guys can already figure out, the first PlayStation 4 game that I'm going to review for you guys is Killzone Shadowfall. I'm a big Killzone fan, so I'm really looking forward to the game. I'm also going to be reviewing Knack. Now, I know my friend has Knack. I'm not sure if you could play co-op online. If so, me and him might do some co-op. I know not a lot of people are, seem to be interested in Knack, or Knack has been getting a lot of mixed reviews, but it's a game that interests me, and I play a variety of games, except for sports and racing games, unless the racing games have like guns attached to the cars. Um, but anyway, that's a whole different story. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out Knack as well. So Killzone Shadowfall will be my first. And then Knack. And let's see, what else do I have here? Um, the three upgraded games I have, if you guys had missed the previous video, is Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, and Call of Duty Ghost. I'm not going to be reviewing Call of Duty because there's already like hundreds and thousands of reviews for the game. Uh, I may do a review for Battlefield 4. I'm not yet sure because I may get some other assignments for the PS4 to do. Um, because I have so much to cover already. But if I do review Battlefield 4, I'm going to be reviewing it based on its multiplayer. I know some people add the single player and review it based on that, and then the multiplayer. For me, since I'm a big Battlefield fan, you guys know that Battlefield is strictly multiplayer. The campaign to me is just an extra feature within the game. Maybe you can't connect online during one day, you just want to play the single player or something. But Battlefield's multiplayer, and if I do a review on it, um, my review score is going to be based on the multiplayer. The single player is not going to affect my score at all. Just so you guys know, like I said, if I do. Um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I already did a review for that on current gen. What I'm most likely going to be doing is a first impressions in terms of how it looks and plays on next gen. And during my basic review on current gen, I had mentioned there's a couple issues I noticed, like frame rate issues in certain locations. And the fact that there's certain things I want to test out because they mentioned that there's going to be no loading times on next gen. 
So I want to go ahead and test that out. And uh, basically, if all works out good, then basically whatever the score I gave for current gen, you could bump it up one point for next gen. But like I said, I have to wait until I play and try it out, see how it performs. Um, but that's pretty much uh, it going on right now. I think they had a, a PlayStation 4 game to, uh, for me to recover. I don't remember what the game was called. But let's, let me double check one more. And that's pretty much it currently for uh, games I'll be reviewing. I know I'll be picking up Infamous Second Son uh, next year. I want to try to get the Collector's Edition. I mean, the Collector's Edition is only $80, and you get like a beanie, some pins, and some DLC, which is pretty cool. I'm excited for the next Infamous game. Uh, I know Naughty Dog announced uh, there was a teaser trailer for Uncharted 4, which I can't wait for that one. I'm not sure when that one comes out. Hopefully 2014. If not, then 2015 it is. Of course, we have, you know, Metal Gear coming out. I'm excited for it. I'm a big fan of that. Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, I love Kingdom Hearts. And just, you know, there's a lot of games in general. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, PlayStation 4 is going to be here Tuesday. Won't be great because otherwise that would take two weeks. And, you know, I can't wait that long. Uh, a lot of PlayStation 4 content for me to cover. Pretty much the first thing I'm going to do, honestly, when I get the PlayStation 4, besides setting it up, putting it in my profile, and updating it, is I'm going to try out the playroom. Because I have the PlayStation camera, and you know, that the room where you have like those little bots on the screen. I'm going to try that out first, and then I'm going to install my games. I'm most likely going to install uh, Battlefield 4 first, because I think that's probably the biggest in terms of file sizes that I have with my games. And then Killzone afterwards, but then in terms of what game I'm going to actually play first like a ps4 disc is going to be killzone but anyways if you guys have any questions feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and uh ba basically make sure you guys stay tuned tomorrow for my playstation 4 unboxing and of course um what's what was i thinking there was something in my mind Oh yeah, I would say game, but I was about to say gameplay, but I don't know when my splitter will arrive. I know it's supposed to be here on or before Thursday, uh, which will allow me to record. But um, so if it does come in tomorrow, that'd be even perfect because then I have the console and the splitter. But if not, then within this week, sometime this uh, la. Wow, sorry, I just woke up, so I'm like not 100% here. Um, so basically, be on the lookout for PlayStation 4 videos within this week as well. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And peace.